going on y'all welcome back to another video so i'm still down here on the coast of north carolina doing some saltwater fishing today is actually day two of flounder season it opened up uh yesterday and i was gonna come out here yesterday but it ended up being really windy blowing like 25 miles an hour all day today's day two of flounder season we're gonna see if we can get some flounder today that's the whole goal we might run into a few different species here and there but flounder is, is the name of the game for today and probably the next couple videos is going to be about flounder um we have two weeks this year to catch and keep flounder um you know last year we had a whole month but this year they limited it to two weeks so I'm not gonna have much time to get them but hopefully we can get some here and there uh this video is gonna be all inshore but i'll probably be getting out into the ocean and doing some near shore fishing for them as well in some later videos so be sure to stick around for that yeah stay tuned and hope you guys enjoy today's video let's see if we can get some flounder What do I have here? There we go. Well, right species, wrong size. Yep, wrong size. He's about 13 inches, but good start to the day. Only took about an hour. This is a little Texas side jig head, Z-Man and Ice Strike. And I got a little Z-Man diesel minnow on the on the back of a little four inch one. I might switch it to something a little bit bigger in a second, but it's a free swinging hook on it. And it's more of a Texas rig style, like an EWG kind of style hook. And it keeps that bait pretty weedless. And so I'm not afraid to pitch it up and flip it up under docks and stuff. And I'm just kind of skipping it under, basically like I'm bass fishing. Sorry if I'm talking a little bit quiet right now. I'm in a neighborhood and it's still pretty early in the morning so don't want to be too loud or anything yelling at the camera but feels good first flounder of the day i'm actually going to switch to something different real quick all right so i'm going to switch to same jig head just a different bait i already had this rigged up in my box from one of the last times i was out here but if you guys watched my last video i hooked a huge pretty big flounder for inshore it's like a 21 incher probably my biggest one i've ever caught while inshore fishing and I went to that same spot that I caught him at and didn't get any bites, but I might try there again in a little bit because it could have just been, I could have just hit it on a wrong tide. But yeah, just fishing this little Texas side jig and I just switched to something a little bit more natural because I'm kind of down near some clear water right now. I believe this is Redbone or maybe Houdini from Z-Man. And it's, uh, yeah, I think it's a red bone color, but it's just a little bit more natural bait. I'm just gonna keep doing what I was doing, skipping around some docks, but I was just fishing this bit of current right here. There's a big island that leads into this neighborhood and there's some current pushing in here. So I thought there could be a fish around here. So I'll probably fish this for a little bit more and then keep hitting these docks. Stay tuned y'all. Hopefully we can get some more size to them. They need to be 15 inches to keep here in North Carolina. And I'm allowed to keep four a day. I'm not really too pressed on getting the limit, but at least get one or two fish that I can take home and eat would be cool. There's another flounder. Another little guy, but we'll take him. He is a targeted species. Another little guy, but hopefully it means we're doing the right thing. I mean, I don't know. You guys let me know. If I catch a bunch of little ones, does that mean I should be fishing in a different spot or what? 
but I'm, I'm on to the right species. That's two in the last 30 minutes doing the same thing. So hopefully there's some bigger ones around here. There we go, there's something. That might be a better one. Yeah. What the heck? Even smaller. <laughs> he felt huge for a second. Another little guy. There's something. That might be something better. Ah, another little guy. That is a little bit better. He could keep, but I don't know if I want to push that. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, about 14 and a half. Close, but I'm not going to push that at all. Thank you, though. Good little fish. All right, getting better in size. Hopefully we can uh, upgrade again. At least we know that there are some bigger ones in here. Hopefully we can get a, a good one, a keeper size. That feels like another little one. Yep. So get some bait right there. Uh -oh. Look at that. That was one and done. Probably my best throw ever. Alright, if y'all can't tell what I'm doing right now, just got some live bait. My buddy Blake, if you guys have been keeping up with the channel and watching my last few videos, I got a new friend that lives down here. His name is Blake. He's been fishing saltwater and inshore fishing for probably his whole life. He's not with me right now. He has class. And so he has class right now, but he did tell me to try a Carolina rig around some docks with a live mullet on it. So that is what we got going on right now. And we're just going to do this until hopefully we get a bite. So uh, it's been a few hours now. Still haven't caught a keeper flounder yet. Now I'm heading back into some of the more marshy areas. Gonna hit some creek mouths. Gonna try to find some deep holes. We're gonna see what happens, y'all. I really, you know, I'm very new to this. I've been talking to my buddy Blake. He's been giving me some tips. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep fishing. Hopefully we can get some flounder today, y'all. Stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Feels like a red. I had a live bait out. No complaining about a red. Had a live bait out the back. Oh, 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 it's a trout. It's a trout. It's a trout. Oh, oh man. My buddy Blake's about to be hyped. It's a nice trout, too. 
<laughs> Let's go. Okay, well, I thought it was a red at first. And now it was a nice, nice trout. All right, Blake. There it is. First trout for me of the year. Or maybe not of the year, but of the season for this season. Pretty good one right there, y'all. Look at that. That's awesome. Nice little trout right there. Yeah, about 17 and a half. All right, buddy. Thank you. You're going in the cooler. All right, well, no flounder yet, but, but I'll take a trout any day of the week. I just had a rod on the on the back with the live mullet on it. I mean, there could be more trout back there. Who knows? It's getting that time of year where they're gonna start moving in, from what I've been told. That was sick, little trout on the on the live mullet. Blake told me, he's like, yeah, just leave a live mullet out the back wherever you're fishing, just for more chances of catching fish, I guess, and caught, caught a little trout, so. Thanks, Blake, for the tips. And uh, I'm about to get another, another mullet rigged on here and throw it back out there, see if we can get some more. So stay tuned, y'all. Let's see if we can get some flounder, which is the targeted species of the day. But I'll take a trout any day of the week. That was a red at first. And then I got him in and saw the spots and stuff. Sick. All right, stay tuned, y'all. Let's see if we can get some more. Here's a flounder. Please be a keeper. A little DOA shrimp. Oh, he's gonna be a keeper. He's gotta be a keeper. That's a good one. Come on, come on, be a keeper. He might do it. He might do it. Right there, a little DOA shrimp. Put away the jig head for a second because. After I caught that trout, I was like, mm, maybe there's some more. So I picked up the shrimp, caught a flounder. And he is 16 inches. The minimum is 15, so he is gonna keep. Yes. There we go, guys. Flounder, keeper flounder in the boat. Yeah, we'll take him. First, first flounder, keeper flounder of the flounder season going in there with the trout they're gonna be for a nice meal together yes we did it oh i'm so hyped that felt good just on this little doa shrimp this thing's pretty sweet and i was throwing it for uh for trout throwing this on my little trout setup it's a 2500 size reel medium light action rod very whippy little whippy thing perfect for this little really lightweight doa shrimp casting this thing out there cast it upstream or up current so the current's coming down this way i casted it up current and i'm just barely reeling it in basically just keeping my line tight and just letting that current take it down and if i notice that the line stops i'll twitch it up see if the line's tight and sometimes it's just stuck on the bottom you just gotta pop it up to get it to, to come out. And I'm just barely letting that thing just slow, slowly just try to keep your line tighter. Obviously right now it's bowing because of the wind, but if it's not windy, it's real easy to tell. Like you just keep your line tight. If it if it looks like it stops, it could be a bite, but normally you can kind of feel like a, th a thud, like a little thump when they, uh, when they bite it. And I'm basically just letting the current do all the work and you're just really just kind of dead sticking this thing. Just, the only reeling or only, only action you're you're not, you're not giving any action actually. You're just reeling. You're just barely keeping that line tight by reeling it in. And that's all you got to do, and fish will eat it. Sick. All right, finally, keep your flounder in the boat. Oh, well. Thanks, pinfish or puffer fish, whatever that was. Completely destroyed it. All right. Well, I got more. Luckily, I'm gonna tie it more on and see if we can get some more. Y'all, so stay tuned. Let's see if we can get some more flounder, maybe some trout, maybe even some reds, who knows? I don't really care at this point. We gotta keep your flounder in the boat. And that was the whole goal of it. And I don't really care for getting a full limit or anything. I'm not too strapped for 
wanting to fill a limit and, and catch as much flounder as possible right now but just kind of wanted to get out here celebrate flounder season good feeling to get that guy in the boat so i'm gonna keep fishing time one time another one of these shrimps on we're gonna see if we get some more stay tuned y'all Well, I think that is gonna wrap it up for me today. Uh, I got one flounder, one keeper, and that's really all I wanted. I didn't really need to fill a limit. I could have taken another one, and if I had gotten a limit, I probably would have taken it, but um, I don't really need one, and we're gonna be doing a lot more flounder fishing uh, for the next couple weeks, so these next few videos should be packed full of more flounder fishing. This is a good kind of entryway to get to get into the season. Could have been better. We could have got onto them better, but jeez. See if they'll leave me alone if I move over a little bit. Sorry, I think they're laughing at me because I couldn't catch flounder today. Anyways, it was a good way to get into flounder season. Hopefully we can get on some more for the, in the next couple weeks. Uh, definitely gonna head out and go into the actual ocean to do some flounder fishing. Last year, me and my dad went there and uh, we did some kind of near shore fishing for some flounder. And that was definitely one of my best days of flounder fishing. So, so probably gonna head out to the ocean for one of these days and then might even try some gigging. I haven't done gigging ever. So I might give that a shot since we have such a short season and gigging seems pretty fun and, and a good way to, to get a lot of flounder. So. So yeah, definitely gonna have to try some of that. Y'all can definitely expect a wide variety of different videos. But as far as the baits go, this is what I was using a little Z-Man. Uh, I think it's a, oh, I cannot remember the name of the actual bait. This is this type of Z-Man bait, little paddle tail. I completely forgot the name, but that is on a little Texas side jig from Z-Man and Strike, or I Strike. Is that what it's called? I Strike? Yeah, I think so. And that was just on my like basic inshore fishing setup. It's a seven foot six medium fast action rod, 3000 size reel, 20 pound braid to a 20 pound mono leader. And then the other one that did it for me was the little DOA shrimp. That's in a clear red flake color. Good looking color in the water. It looks really good. Looks like an actual shrimp. Love this little bait. Me and my dad did pretty good on it during the winter time last year for trout. And I thought I might give it a try. And I just recently got this new rod that I got kind of meant for trout fishing and meant for throwing these lighter, smaller lures, especially like this little DOA shrimp. This is a seven foot medium light action rod. Um, it doesn't say exactly what action it is, like if it's a fast or moderate, but it's pretty whippy and I feel like it's it's definitely more on the moderate side. I got that mainly to throw like jerk baits and twitch baits and top waters for trout whenever uh, they start biting real good. My buddy Blake is really into the trout and he's very excited for it and he's been talking about it a lot and talking to me about different baits that we're going to be using and stuff. So trout season's just around the corner. It, I mean I caught one today that was the first trout that I've caught in probably like months. You know it's been a very long time since I've caught a trout just because I haven't really been fishing down here that much but finally got my first trout since I've been back down here and I felt really good and that was on a live mullet on a Carolina rig that kind of surprised me at first I thought it was a red because it wasn't fighting like a flounder and then I got it in and I realized it was a trout and uh, got both of those in the cooler probably gonna wait to do a catch and cook later on I just don't really feel like doing it today but definitely catch and cooks coming here in the future here real soon and uh, yeah that is about it um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions about anything definitely leave it in the comments below if you're new here what's up my name is Jamie I'm from North Carolina and I'm primarily a bass fisherman but i've been getting into saltwater fishing and i'm going to be doing a lot of both here in the future so if you enjoyed this video definitely stick around be sure to subscribe i'm getting real close to 2,000 subscribers so if you guys haven't subscribed yet definitely consider it it'll mean a lot to me and for those of you who have subscribed and are supporting me thank you so much it really means a lot i really 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 appreciate it and uh, with all that being said y'all i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to leave a like if you want to see more make sure to subscribe share this video with a friend if you think they might enjoy it and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace Oh,